What's up, guys? Stas here. So we have to do an update on Palantir stock, go over some news that we just got. And of course, you guys know the drill. We're going to break down the charts and go over my thoughts here and what I'm looking to do coming from somebody that just started buying the stock a couple of weeks ago. So hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and you guys might as well get your free stocks for Moomoo. All the details are down below. Check out the QR code right here or just simply go to StasSurfest.com slash Moomoo. Get your money money guys and with that being said cheers from me and my empty glass of orange juice here guys fresh squeezed orange juice you can't beat it cheers guys and with that being said let's get into it so palantir stock is moving today guys up around three percent to twenty one dollars and fifty five cents and you guys can see here clearly on the four hour time frame we are forming a triple bottom at the bottom of the channel, which clearly we're holding an uptrend. There's nobody that's denying that. It's clear as day here on the four hour chart. And notice how we've held 20 bucks and 50 cents. We hit that point back in the middle of April. Also, here in the middle of May, we hit that point. And now, as well, in the end of May, with today being the second to last day of May, um, you know, we're holding that point again. And by the way, it's my birthday today, guys. Happy birthday to me, 28 years old. Unbelievable, man. Getting closer to the big 30. It's almost that time, man. It's almost that time. So, uh, yeah, triple bottom for Palantir here. And you know what would be an even better birthday present? My birthday's been great so far, but what would make it even better would be a nice breakout into the mid 20s. We're probably not going to get that today, though, obviously, or tomorrow. Uh, but it looks like we're getting ready to potentially do that. Again, as we're triple bottoming here, we got some good news that we're going to break down, and we're one breakout away from more momentum to come, in my opinion. So let me actually pull up this news release here on Palantir's investor relations. I'll pull it up here. Uh, maybe make my face a bit smaller so we can actually see what the heck this says here. I'll zoom in a little bit. So you guys can see Eaton deepens partnership with Palantir to enhance AI use and operations. And let me actually pop this up here a little bit bigger. There we go. So we can see here that intelligent power management company Eaton and Palantir announced today, which actually I think this was yesterday. Either way, the news is fresh that the expansion or they announced the expansion of their partnership to bring Palantir's AIP artificial intelligence platform to Eaton's operation and the enhanced collaboration will offer a unique data management solution to accelerate and modernize enterprise resource planning, also known as ERP deployments with AI powered data mapping, cleansing and migration automation and Palantir will support Eaton's AI innovation process by providing a systematic way to turn ideas into reality and a set of AIP now marketplace applications will speed up value creation across Eaton's global operations, which is obviously ideal for them. And while many people talk about the promise of generative AI, Eaton and Palantir are building something real in the heart of our operation, said Eaton's chief data officer, Ralph, or not Ralph, geez, Ross. Shlamo or Sh Shalmo or Scalmo. I can't even talk today, guys. But he also said, we view these AI enabled applications as strategic differentiators that will greatly accelerate productivity and more importantly, improve our ability to deliver value for our customers. And previously, of course, Eaton and Palantir worked together to develop and deliver an assisted and AI assisted workflow for Eaton's supply chain team and the solution practically or proactively, excuse me, identified and resolved material shortages, preventing downtime and unblocking the assembly of finished goods. And of course, you guys know Palantir is doing everything they can to increase the value of AIP, right? They have so many boot, boot camps, right? I think as of the last quarter, they were conducting a little over 600 boot camps. Um, I forget exactly the number, five it was either high 500s, low 600s. I'm pretty sure it was low 600s. But if they can convert these companies into actual, you know, customers, 
bring in a bunch more revenue from AIP over the next couple of years. Obviously, that's where the massive opportunity is here with um, Palantir. And think about it, man. If they do convert a lot of these customers or these AIP boot camps, if they convert them into customers and those customers love the product, love the experience, guess what? They're going to tell other companies, other big companies like, oh, you guys need to get with Palantir, right? So this is pretty good news in the short term, guys. Again, they've worked with EM in the past, and now they're deepening the partnership, which we'll see how it plays out. And obviously, that's what's moving the stock today up around 3%. Let's see where we're at now. Looks like Palantir is at now over 3%. There we go. We're breaking out of $21.50, which is where my first alert was at. So that got triggered. And now we're heading towards 22 bucks per share, it looks like, which is right by the four-hour 180 moving average, which is at about 22 bucks, right? So if we're able to get out of there on PLTR, which clearly 22 $22.15, that general window right there. Clearly, that's been resistance uh, for months, right? Or not necessarily months, weeks, excuse me. Um, yeah, it's been resistance for weeks, so we got to get out of there, man. If Palantir can somehow break out of that level, I'm telling you guys, this could take off. It could really start breaking out and continuing the uptrend here, which on the four-hour chart, we're looking pretty good. Obviously, we're in this channel holding an uptrend. Let's see if we continue that uptrend now after we're triple bottoming here. And like I said, man, that'd be a nice, uh, you know, birthday present on top of, you know, everything else I'm doing today, which honestly, I'm not really doing much today, just eating a bunch of good food that I like. Uh, we're going to dinner tonight, which is going to be awesome. I'm going to have a great time at dinner. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's just more of a normal day. But either way, man, Palantir breaking out. Whether it's tomorrow, the next week, the week after that, that'd be a nice belated birthday present, right? So what do you guys think about PLTR? And full disclosure, I'm long. I started buying this after the company reported earnings and it tanked after earnings and I'm holding on. I actually haven't bought any more this week, but my average is right around $21.20, I think, in that ballpark. And I was buying in the mid-21s under $21, low 21s. And honestly, I could buy more right now if I wanted to. Haven't done that yet. Might consider it. But either way, I'm excited to see how this plays out. So what are your thoughts, guys? Let me know down below in the comments. Check out the Patreon if you guys want to see me build out my portfolio, be a part of the Discord, see my charts and ideas throughout the week. That's linked down below. And you might as well get your free stocks from Moomoo with at least a $100 deposit. Just use that link down below. Go to StockSurfest.com slash Moomoo or check out the QR code right here, guys. Get your money. It's literally free money. And of course, that link helps out the channel. I appreciate you guys as always. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you later.